Hello, Matthew Garfield, and this is the WWO um, Spider-Man event, and glad you guys are here. Gosh, well, I'd like to fly, but that's just purely selfish because I want to experience what that feels like. But in terms of making it in line with what we're trying to do with this event and with this uh, organization, because there are so many unsupported kids being left on doorsteps around the world, uh, I have to say teleportation, um, just to cover as much surface area as, as possible in a short amount of time. I feel very, um, you know, I feel privileged wearing the suit, I feel privileged honouring this character, or attempting to, um, for many reasons, um, but yeah, no one wants to hear a, super, a, guy, a guy, an actor playing a superhero and complaining about a suit. But I, I do, I do, I, spandex does so. Were there some difficulties in and wearing it? Yeah, because you, you, like need, to... you need to urinate, and, <laughs> and, and human beings generally need to urinate, and uh, the designer didn't take that into consideration. The sequel. Get it the right. sequel. Don't get it right. Well, <laughs> don't, don't hold your breath. It wasn't a preconceived thing, it was like, gosh, I should affiliate myself with a charity. I was doing the movie and I was working on uh, the idea of being an orphan, because Peter Parker is one of our most famous orphans in fictional his history. And um, obviously, when, when you're working on a character, you want to feel like you have a personal connection to that character. I didn't realize, but I, I felt like an orphan at different times in my life. Um, and I think uh, if I felt like an orphan coming from a middle class, unbroken home, then I think everyone in the world must have felt like an orphan as well. So, and then I met Jane through a mutual friend, and everything made sense. My heart started beating faster, swelling up, hearing her talk, and, and uh, just being with her felt inspiring and uh, important. And then, of course, you learn about her work, and, and then you travel with her, and you see her work, and, and then suddenly you realize that it's a global human issue that uh, needs great attention and never enough attention.